Hello, my awesome students. How are you? Today we will complete unit four. I wonder what happened for Mega Goal Two Grammar. Today we will use past perfect tense and the modal verbs. Past perfect tense. What is the form of past perfect tense and why we use it? Use the past perfect tense had plus past participle to indicate an action that happened before another action in the past. For example, when we arrived at the airport, our, fly our flight had already left. Here, this sentence indicates that the flight had already left before we arrived at the airport. So, the first action is our flight had already left. So we use the past perfect, had plus past participle. Then we arrived. So we use the past simple tense. The next example is they couldn't get in the house because they had forgotten the key. Where is the first action? Excellent. They had forgotten the key. So we use the past perfect, then we use the past simple. How can we form a question from the past perfect tense? At first, we use had, then the subject and the past participle. For example, had I been there before, or had you been there before, or had they been there before? For positive answer, we can say, yes, I had. For negative answer, we say, no, I hadn't. Keep in mind this note, please. The contraction apostrophe D for had. I had, you had, they had, and so on. Can be used with the past perfect. The next point is the modal verbs. What are the modal verbs excellent? Can, can't, may, might, must. Very good. What's the difference between what's the difference between these modal verbs? Use can't, must, may, or might to make supposition or to speculate about something and to draw conclusion. Use must to say we are sure of something. Use can't to, or, can, or couldn't to say that we think something is impossible. Use may or might or could to say that something is possible. Again, must for sure, can't or couldn't for impossible, may or might or could for possible. What is the present form of the modal verb? We use can, can't, might, or must plus base form. For example, I can't be a palon. Palons aren't shaped like that. It might be a glitter, but glitters don't fly vertically. It must be a helicopter. What about the past form? The past form of the modal verb, we can use couldn't, might, or must, plus have, plus piece, or plus past participle. The past form is modal verbs couldn't, or might, or must, plus have, plus past participle. For example, it couldn't have been a balloon. Balloons aren't shaped like that. It might have been a glitter, but glitters don't fly vertically. It must have been a helicopter. Now, are you ready to answer the following exercise? Exercise number A. Complete the sentences using the verbs in the parentheses. Use the simple past and the, and the past perfect forms. For number one, I felt much better after 
I had seen the results of my test. What is the first action? Very good. I had seen the results of my test, so I found much better. So I use a past perfect had plus past participle for the first action and past simple for the second action. Number two, it hadn't been raining, but the time we arrived, the rain had stopped. Number three, Dinosaurs had been extinct for millions of years before the first humans appeared. Number four, I had never traveled outside my country until I went to Disney World last summer. Number five, we wanted to go, we wanted to get a picture of meteorite, but we arrived, the police, but we arrived the police had already taken it away. No, your honor. I had never seen that man before the night. He broke into my apartment. The next exercise, exercise number B, complete the sentences use, using can't, must, or might. Again, can't for, excellent, impossible, must for sure, and might for possible. Very good. Number one, you haven't eaten all day, so you must be starving, I'm sure. Pat's joking, she, Excellent. Can't be serious. Can't be serious. It's impossible. Number three, Ahmed has been studying all afternoon. I'm sure he must be tired by now. Number four, I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the way there. Let's ask my father. He Excellent. Might. It's possible. He might drive us there. I can't find my keys anywhere. I must have lost them. I'm sure of that. The last one. Who is at the door? It can't be Mariam. She is abroad with her parents. It's impossible. I'm sure she is not. The next exercise, exercise number C. Look at the picture and explain what you think must have happened, might have happened, and could have happened. For example, in picture number one, he must have slept late. He might have forgotten to set his alarm clock. He could have stayed up late last night. So we use must have plus past participle or might have plus past participle or could have plus past participle. Who can describe this picture? What about this poor girl? Something must have scared the girl. The girl might, might have hurt her soul. The girl could be hurt. Then this picture. The man must have heard some good news, or the man might have heard a funny joke. The man could have gotten an A on his test, maybe. Number three, oh, ups. The man must have tripped on something and fallen, or the man might have fallen while he was running. The man could have slept on some water. The last picture. The boy must have be must have seen a ghost. The boy must have seen a ghost, maybe. Or there could be an earthquake. The boy might have 
seen a horror fall. Okay, do you understand my lovely students? Take care of yourself and goodbye.